Hey y'all, it's Bart with Bicycle Rider YouTube and I am stoked to be bringing you a video on the 2023 Marin Rift Zone 2. As you all know, I own a bicycle shop so I can pick from multiple different brands of bicycles. Uh, price is not really a big deal uh, when you own a bicycle shop. Uh, all the manufacturers want you on their bicycle, especially if you're one of those guys that rides bicycles and I do. Well. For the last three generations of Rift Zone, I've been on a Rift Zone 2 um, for, for many, many years, and I do a lot of riding. So it's, it's nice to believe in the products you sell in, and it's nice to be able to sell products to your friends and customers that you see every weekend, and they give you positive reviews on the stuff that they're buying from you instead of complaints. I only have limited time to go ride my bike, I don't want to sell things that go out there and, and give customers problem, which in turn makes me turn wrenches out on the trail. So I have sold a lot of the Rift Zones to my friends and customers right here uh, around my bike shop. We're in Biloxi Bicycle Works right now here in Biloxi, Mississippi. I also have a company called GovVelo, GovVelo.com. So we sell Marin Rift Zones to people all over the country. They end up coming here to ride with us, and I have positive feedback. There's a reason that Moran has a hashtag made for fun, because that's what people are doing on this bike. They're having a lot of fun, and they have for three generations now. Um, and each generation is evolution on the previous version. So as I see trends in the bicycle world changing, you know, we, we all used to be into cross-country racing. I'm 53 years old and I've spent a lifetime cross country racing. I still like it, but cross country is not as popular now as trail riding or down country. Um, the trend has been to be a little bit more fun involved rather than just pushing cardio all the time. And I have seemed to fall into that trend. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of relinquished the racing pedigree to pick up trail biking and I, I, I still fight against that because I like to ride fast. Down here in the south we like to ride fast anyway so having a, a fast 29er capable dual suspension mountain bike at an affordable price is a hard thing to accomplish but Marin has seemed to knock it out of the park and this year's 2023 is no exception. Uh, price on this bike is about 2400 bucks. Yeah, $23.99. So um, you get a lot of bike for the money. You've got a really decent component spec. I'm going to touch on some of the highlights, but I'm not going to go through every spec. What I want to do is tell you about how this bike rides, and I do ride this bike. Um, it seems that I do a lot of group rides, uh, owning a bicycle shop, and the group rides I do have to incorporate multiple you know, multiple levels of cyclists. So a lot of times we get the fast guys out earlier in the morning and we do, uh, you know, destroyer ride or a, a faster paced, steady rolling ride. Um, it's nice that I can bring one bike rather than two. I do have a race bike that I hardly ride anymore because at 53 years old, that bike just beats me up. Um, it's a short travel specialized carbon fiber Epic and it is fast it does that a to b really quick but i'm not having a whole lot of fun doing it unless i'm lining up with a bunch of guys that have that same goal but most of the time when you're out with your your your, your group ride your mountain bike group ride um you know you're out there having fun of course every race turns or every ride turns into a race sometimes so it's nice on that earlier part of the day to be able to have a bike that is fast and twitchy and playful in the trails uh, you know we don't have a whole lot of machine trails out here in my area at least locally so a lot of it is is old school mountain bike trails with a lot of trees a lot of twists a lot of turns in the summertime it's nice to have that shade out there but you do need a bike that is agile and quick and this generation even though they've slackened uh, you know slackened the head to or the, the seat tube a bit They've made it just a little bit longer. They've made the front end come up just a little bit on the frame. It still has a 65.5 degree, you know, head tube angle, which for a cross country racer is a, is a big slack. 
but it all comes together really, really good. Um, and when I do get to travel and go to some more groomed trails or some trails with some bigger features and stuff, it is so nice having a, a capable bike that tracks really well that is still fast. Um, you know, when I talk about the suspension really quick, they have upgraded the suspension this year. Uh, you got the Mar Marzuki Z2 that used to come on the, on the, the previous generation's number three. It's a one, two, and three. This is the middle tier. Three would be the highest. And this is the, the suspension that came on that bike. Now it comes on the two. And it also gives you 10 more millimeters of suspension. So 140 rather than 130. And um, 100 and, and, you know, 130 on the rear. So 130, 140. Uh, mix it up with a Marzuki Z2. And then on the back, you get a RockShock Deluxe. So the RockShock Deluxe is just one of those performers. Um, of course, you could spend more money and upgrade for, uh, you know, suspension, but this bike really is set up to just throw some pedals on it and go. Um, this bike really is good. For, for, for the price, it's hard to rival the component spec, the ride, the technology, the modern geometry, and geometry keeps changing year to year. Uh, it's just like a computer, you know, uh, processors and pixels on your screen. So just know in the bicycle technology, these engineers are having to keep their knives pretty sharp to keep up with the competition. And Marin has done it. Let me just tell you about some of the changes this year, other than a little bit more suspension, a uh, couple small geo changes, but they've also really done a good job of, of um, cable management. So cable management used to be a little bit of an issue on the previous generation. I used to have to zip tie my cable down here um, nowadays, it's, it's, it's really coming through the frame really, really clean. I love the way they've changed a few things on it. And of course, Marin always puts a good, you know, chain stay protector, which is important. You think it's just a piece of rubber, but that piece of rubber protects your chain. It also keeps things quiet. Um, just a lot of nice features in this bike. Uh, come stock with a Trans-X dropper post. And with this new frame, you can see it's a little bit different here. There's not a gap like there used to be. And you've got a long uh, seat stay, a seat tube. So the seat tube does allow for a longer travel dropper post. So um, the stock dropper post, no complaints. I've had a few people want to change the dropper post, uh, you know, remote lever. I've put a PNW on. I'm still using the stock, the stock one. Everything I'm using is pretty much stock. The only thing I've changed is my tires. Um, these are the Flow Snap by V-Tire. I have used these tires locally. They just seem a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish, a little bit too much traction for what we have regionally here around Biloxi, Mississippi. I did take these tires up to North Carolina around Pisgah area. The rocks were wet. I needed the extra traction. We weren't worried about overall speed. Um, so these tires work you know, good in that condition. But I'd rather have Marin stock this bike brand new with some tires that aren't costing a whole lot of money to change out. I've been racing motorcycles and boats and stuff a whole lifetime, so I'm used to changing those certain parts for regional conditions. Um, on a bike, it's the same thing. Um, I don't mind swapping a pair of tires, but the, the rest of the components are really, really decent on this bike. It's, it's got the uh, Shimano MT 200 brakes. Um, it's a two piston hydraulic brake that just works really, really good. They do have resin pads and it's got a resin only disc, 180 disc uh, front and rear. I like resin pads, so none of that bugs me. That's what comes stock on this bike and they worked fantastic. My last two generations of uh, brake, this, this style brake worked great from day one till when I retired those bikes and sold them to, to friends and customers. Uh, so those bikes are still around. Um, the rocker works really good, so it's a very efficient rear suspension. Um, it's fairly tight on the trails when you need to put the power down and kick some speed. You don't lose a lot of energy through this. But yet, if I hit a bump, jump, gap, uh, we've got Bo Chitto trails now two hours away, and it's a fantastic trail system. And of course, those guys have built a, a jump line, multiple jump lines, some big gaps. Um, I'm still coming out of my cross-country roots, and at 53, I try not to break myself. But 
I'm having fun jumping. Uh, the, the previous Rip Zone 2 jumped well, and this one even jumps even better. So I'm going to try to get some video of some of my new jump skills. We're also playing on the pump track. So these bikes are really playful, but still my steadfast thing I do is I like to go fast through the trails for a long distance. And this bike keeps me doing that, keeps me doing it comfortably. When I ride my cross country bike, give me two or three laps, I'm ready to go in the back of my van and kick back. Um, I can ride this bike all weekend long and feel good. Uh, working in the bike shop, you know, we work all week long. You think it's play in here, it's, it's, it's hard. And then on Saturday mornings, I get up early and go ride my bike. On Sunday mornings, I get up and ride my bike. And this bike lets me do it. I work on everybody else's bikes during the week. So I usually take my bike uh, when I'm done and I hang it in the shop and I tell myself, hey, look, I'm gonna check things over during the week and I'm always working on someone else's bike. My bike gets put up wet and ridden again. And it has been super, super solid. So when I say that the specs on this bike are solid, I know the Dior 12 speed, um, it's a little bit heavy. Speaking of weight, this bike's like 33 pounds. So it's not lightweight compared to a cross country race bike, but for any of these modern geometry, full suspension bikes, 30 plus pounds is fairly normal. I'm a 150 pound guy. So, you know, I spent a lot of money making my bikes lightweight over the years. Nowadays I'm riding stop bikes. This bike does not ride like a 33 pound bike, but it's solid, you know, so that's probably why I don't have to fix a lot of things all the time. On my lightweight 21 pound full suspension bike, seems like I'm, I'm always breaking something, but that's what racing is. Racing is lightweight stuff that you're pushing to the edge. This bike, I ride hard and it just performs, it just performs. Um, another thing they did this year was they put the UDH, so it's a SRAM Universal Derailleur Hanger. So that's a, a great additive you get with this bike too. So like I said, they're keeping things modern. It's got 12 speed by one speed. I've uh, never had a prob problem with the Comet cranks on them. Um, like I said, this, this bike is, is, is really sweet right out of the box. A little bit lower standover height on this model. So they have changed the frame a little bit, the frame, the, the little bit lower standover height. Um, and like I said, it's just a little bit longer. So I wanted to compare the 22 with the 23 because the 22 just rips through the trails really good. And I didn't want to step into something that was gonna be sluggish. The way they've done this, it climbs really good but yet it zips through the trails good and then it's still when you point this thing downhill it's even more capable than than ever before so anyway um had a phone call coming in just a quick overview on this bike just know that i'm very impressed with the 2023 i'm going to hold on to this bike for for a couple years so you'll see a long-term review on this bike and uh, I really like the, the color on it too. Um, behind me, you see they got a Rift Zone, uh, Rift Zone 1, which is a little less expensive. The parts built on it is, is a little bit different. And what's nice is Marin is building these in a 27 and a half and a 29. So any questions, uh, you know, you hit me up. Biloxi Bicycle Works is where I work all week long. Um, like I said, GovVelo is where I sell these bikes a lot to people who don't have a local Marin dealer. Uh, you know, and, and everybody that works at both of my companies, we're local residents that can ride bikes and, and tell you all about what we do. So hit us up on customer service, call me at the shop. Um, if you like what we do on the Bicycle Rider YouTube channel, you know, please like and subscribe on that. And I'll keep pushing this Marin to Rift Zone 2. I've got some other models we're gonna do in, in the background. I've got the Alpine Trail, I got the Alpine Trail E. Of course, I've got the Pine Mountain. I can't really ride the Rift Zone Junior, but it is pretty cool. They make a, a Rift Zone Junior, and then on the, over here, I've got um, uh, you know, an Alpine Trail Carbon. So anyway, Marin is making some hot bikes. Like I say, I sell multiple brands of bikes, but I choose to ride this bike right here because I like to ride what my customers are riding. Um, so anyway, Bart at uh, Bicycle Rider YouTube. Let's ride together. If you're in the area, hit me up. We, we ride bikes all the time around here. So uh, I'm definitely more of a bike rider than I am a YouTube reviewer. But I, this is real and raw. I didn't even have this plan. I just walked into the showroom because it's raining outside and figured I'd do a little video for you guys. All right, thank you for, uh, thank you for paying attention. 
Like I said, I'm here if you have any questions, and if you are passing through the Biloxi area you want to ride, man, hit me up, because I love riding bikes. I love riding this bike, and I want to ride it with you. Thank you, guys.